welcome welcome back let's put a little cuticle oil on got these bad boys looking cute so today we have an alley haul we have a few things that I want to get out put away and so we can get using them I usually don't use this stuff too much before I haul it because once it's out I like to just put it back to where it should go Okay, so we have a basket, and she's pretty full, stocked and packed, so I would suggest to go get a beverage. Have a drink with me in my little cup, which won't be dropping until August 1st, but okay. Now that we have a beverage all together. Let's dig in. First things first. A brush. Now, how appropriate is that brush for my nails? Oh, yeah. Like, gorgeous. Okay, so this is a size 9. So it's a pretty big size for gel. So it's a gel, and it is a squared edge. I usually prefer the ovals, but I thought it would be good for mud gel. I re that's what I really thought this would be good for. So it's nice and big. I like that it's square for a painting gel. Now for a hard gel, I do prefer oval. So I thought though for uh, my mud gels and all my um, painting gels and stuff that that would be a good brush for that. And she just pretty. So pretty. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get this lighting. Like, I'm, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm over it. I don't know why. I just feel it's dark. Okay. Over the brush. It's very pretty, though. Mo brushes. So, I have been trying to find some decent brushes. Just try different ones out. As an artist, you will always need tools, so. And I like that they are a plastic, so I'm not a fan of the wood ones. I do find they could get gunky after a while when cleaning them, if you do end up putting any acetone or anything on them. So these have a cute, almost zebra kind of design to them. And so that's the vibe it's giving me. What vibe is it giving you? It's giving me zebra vibes. The best zebra, but I don't know, probably the black and the white in the lines. So you do get a little bit of everything here, which I'm digging, and you even get a dotting tool. So it's a good little set. Again, guys, all the links will be in the description below. Just set the stuff there. My desk is kind of full. What do we have here? We have some Born Pretty. Okay, so we have white. I remember I opened it. So we have white and black. Whoa. I'm so sorry. So we have white and black, Born Pretty. I opened this because I swear that looked a little gray to me. And I was like, okay, I thought I ordered white. It is white. I want to try to get a few black and whites together and kind of just do like... Just test them out, maybe a little battle of black and white, see what black and whites are most pigmented. So I grabbed that from Born Pretty. Okay, we have some nail stands. I've been buying a few nail stands lately because I just need to find what I like. I really like the base of these. I thought the base was super cute. These are nice too, but they're plastic. And I, my plastic ones have been breaking. I do have some metal ones that I'm really enjoying. The little pegs. So I'll probably just keep using the metal. But I really like the stand. I want to have just some just some, some stands designated just for maybe filming. And you want it you know, to look a little bit nicer. The other ones kind of get gunky. So I grabbed two of them. They are the same. But I love the edge. Like the edge of it is like a live edge. I love that little beveled edge or whatever you call it. Okay, a few more. So 
So we have some you are sugar base gels. Oh, I remember these. So I feel like I've been hearing this base gel a lot. Base gel, base gel. So I feel like base gel is basically like a builder. Like I'm, that's the vibe I'm getting. It's like you can build out with it or kind of give your nail some structure to soak off. But I don't think it'd be that great for extensions. Maybe over a natural nail. Okay, so it's definitely thick. Again, like um, that's why I feel like it's like a builder, right? But they just call it base gel. That's the vibe I'm getting. So it has these like gold little flakes. It's more like a rose gold. I thought that would look so gorgeous. Again, you can do that over a full press on too because you don't have to worry about the strength. It's a full cover, so you're already getting the strength from your nail. And then a milky white again with like a rose gold that I thought was so pretty. I haven't really messed with Builder in a Bottles or base gels, but I want to give it a go. I think it's a good, like, kind of go to, a good option, even if you want to just. I'll put a little bit of strength to your natural nails for a little bit. So I wanted to try a few and I really liked what these two look like. They're really pretty and I'm not disappointed at all with that. Love it. Of course we have some stamping plates. I'm becoming a bit of a stamping, I don't know, I'm gonna call myself a hewer. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know, I stamping, OMG. I have that one. Okay, so that's going to go in a giveaway. Oh, I don't think I have this one. Oh, look at the papayas. Is that a papaya or a mango? Or not a mango. An avocado. That might be an avocado. Okay, super cute. And then animal prints. Sorry, this plate number is XYZ02. This plate number is... It's Z Joy plus 018. So sorry for the glare. And then this guy over here, which I will put in a giveaway. Because I already have this one. And it happens more than you think, guys. It's so hard to keep track. I would love to know if you guys have any stamping plate, how you guys organize them, how you keep track of your plates. How do you guys keep track of your plates when you buy them? Well, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I could use some methods that you guys are using, implement that in my studio, I would love it. I don't have a good system. I do write them down, but I feel like there's so many repeat numbers that it doesn't make sense to write down the number because you can buy the same plate at a different company and it'd be like a different number or the same number, right? So I don't know. Let me know. You guys could really, really, like, I'd be so useful for me. So this is Estroid Plus 030. So this will go in a giveaway. I have already a few things for the giveaway already um what giveaway is coming up next i don't know oh my 2000 subscriber giveaway that would be coming up next so this is m share now i kind of purchased the m share system i want to try them out for again the builder so this is the base coat and yep, just like a regular base consistency This lighting is really bothering me. I don't know why. Okay, so we have a, a little bit more of a Lion King, which is cute, uh, plate. And this is 087 Motine. Motine. Okay, ooh, we have some pretty glitter. So these are white glitters. When I was doing the clouds for the Care Bear set, I realized that my white sugary glitter, I didn't have a lot of it. So I was it was getting quite low, so I did want to restock that. And I found this deal where you get five, all oh, it five grams, which is plenty of different ones. So I was like, yes ma'am. So this is just the white. So this is a silver white. I love how they wrote it down so this is a mixed 
This one has more of a green hue to it. Oh, this one has like a gold hue. And then this has a purple hue, which is amazing. So this is five grams. I don't know guys, when I was when I think of five grams, I guess I was always thinking like the volume of the pot. You know, honestly, I don't know why that's exactly how my brain went. So I think that's just what I thought. But a lot of the times I think that, like I said, it can be in weight. And somebody point that, pointed that out to me and I was like, I never thought of the weight of it. I was just thinking like the volume, like how it fills my pots. So it was like, oh yeah, it just made me think of like the difference or the different ways, I guess. Sometimes you don't realize it, like your, your brain or your mind can be a little bit like closed off to certain things. I guess it's just, I don't know why, but don't know why. All right. What do we have? A Beauty Big Bang XL001. So this is some good full cover prints or just prints. I would call them like, I think I have them in my storage system as prints. I did have full cover, but then I'm like, it doesn't necessarily fully cover. So I just did prints. That's the name of them. So we have some fruit, some seashells, leaves, some um, under the water, guys. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Again, did I just see a butt? OMG. I'm having such trouble, people. Okay, so this plate is Shop Ants XL026, and I did see a tush. Two tushes! Whoa, ladies. Okay, got me all frazzled. So we have a shark. Again, we have a little bit of fruit over there. I like that we have some drinks, a little mermaid. So it gives you a couple little ice cream, so it gives you a cute variety. And then we have this one here, which is same shop and XL012. And this is like a teacher one, I feel. We have the pencils and pens, we have letters and scribbles. We literally have a teacher just spill it out a whole whack of brain dumps, some scissors. So I thought that would be a cute little set to have. Guys, I apologize for the glare. You'd have no idea. I have my softbox on. I have two lights over my desk. And I don't know. I feel like it looks dark on my monitor. I really hope that it's not. I'll know more when I edit. But I'm throwing every light possible at you. And so you're going to see all the glares. Same shop and XL039 and this is some fruit. Super cute. I love that it's a layering layering plate. So you can just get different dimensions to your corn or your nanas. Super super cute. A little acorn too. I love that one. Okay, a few more. I'm gonna try my best to feed this up because I don't I don't know. I used to do such long hauls and not really anybody complain so I guess I should just keep doing me but I'm trying my best to keep them in a 20 minute range because I get it it can be a lot but I don't you know what I don't do short videos it's hard for me to do short videos I have too much to say so I guess if you know you know you've been around you know my videos are a little bit longer and a ramble it's a condition here we have some watercolors. Now I need to start using these bad boys. I have so many of these palettes. And I haven't used a lot. I want to get into them a little bit more. So I like that they did this. Because I feel like it protected them. But it's just a little difficult to put them all out to see. Excuse me, ma'am. You have to turn around. Okay, and I love that it comes in a little box. Most of them don't, so I really like that actually. And I think this is pretty reasonable, guys. I think this is around 
I want to see the five mark, but I'll definitely link it below. I'll link what I can. Sometimes it's just too much stuff to link everything. That's doing big hauls is kind of the unfortunate part about that. But, oh, I should probably keep this little thing in there, right? But that might annoy me when I'm trying to find the color that I want. I don't, eh, for now I will, I'll decide. I will decide later. Okay, and some little liner brushes. Again, more liner brushes. I'm not hating it. I've been wanting to get brushes. I've been saying that I want variety of brushes. I'm looking for some good quality. Already, I love that they're metal. Super cute marble. And you do get your three different sizes. So we have a very small, medium, and a large. It's not large though, guys. It's like small, small. It's like smallest, smaller, <laughs> medium. So those are the three sizes. They're not bad though. It's a pretty decent length. Some liners. I need a really long one. I messed one up when I was doing this. Accidentally cured it. It happens. Okay. I'm not, guys, I'm sorry, but look, we still have this much. So you want to take five and go get a little, a little snack. Refill the beverage. Put me on pause. Okay, so we have two more stamping plates. This is a little guy. This is Estroy 016, and we have some rain, some clouds. Look, I finally got that cloud. A little splatter and more raindrops. I like it for the rain. I think it's good if you wanted to just do that in the stamping. Again, when you have multiple colors of stamping, you can do like variations look really cool and the little clouds. So not a bad plate. I think I really ordered it for this one. It looks pretty scratched, but it's just the blue. So that's a good thing. This is a Michael Jackson plate or what they're advertising it as. It kind of gives me vibes. It definitely gives the dance moves. So that can be super fun. I'm like, yes, ma'am, have to have. So super cool, and that one is SP029. Okay. More stamping plates. Did we do this one? No, we didn't, right? No, I don't think so. You know, I'm not gonna open it though because I'm not sure. I have some more stamping plates that I'll go through before I put this away. So this is ZGL003. And we have some good prints. So we have a lot of leaf prints, which I'm really liking. I'm liking these maple leaves. So this will be good for autumn. I thought this would be a really good autumn plate overall. You can get some good designs out of that one. So I like that one. I don't think I have that one though. And then I think I have this one though. I think I might have this one. So Anyways, we can see it through it. So this is y PYJ054. I love that they have this mountains. That's super cool. Animal print. I don't know. I, I love it. This is my first animal print set that I've actually ever done, which I think is hilarious because I love the animal print. I think it's just so, like, just cute and chic. I love it. So yeah, so we have some just different designs. Super cool, I love this abstract concept there and the, our lines, but I really like that they have the mountains. So that'll be good for like some, I don't even desert or, I wanna do like a Wild West theme or something. I don't know, who knows? So many ideas, it's hard for me to put it on paper. I got a book for that though, so. Okay guys, we have a fan brush. Okay, well it's not going to come out. We're good though. So it's a pretty brush. I want you out though. I actually want to see you. So if you're not going to come out that way, we're just going to... Excuse me, miss. Oh, that's super cool. Look at that though. Super fun. So these are good even for sugaring even. Like when you grab your sugar, you can just dust it over your nail or your, your fine glitter. I lost my train of thought. Just a dust brush, fan, I don't know, super cute. I love that it's a multicolor, cannot go wrong. And it's a good little weight. I like that, that's really, really nice quality. My apologies. 
Again, more stamping plates. Oh gosh, guys, I went stamping crazy. So these were all born pretty. Okay, so this is Animal. It's definitely giving me abstract vibes though with the lady. But yeah, it's all butterflies. And that's Edible L008. This is Artist L014. Super cool. I love all these. And yeah, you could draw them. You definitely could. And I want to become a decent drawer on nails, don't get me wrong. But while I practice and while time, now I'm positive I have this, this plate. So this is a Texture L001. Super positive I have this. If not, it's something very, very similar. So I'll probably keep that in there. If it's extremely similar, I will put it in a giveaway. Okay, and then here, this is BPL0, zero, OMG, 041. There is nothing on the plate though, there is no plate number, so I should probably write that on the back. So I have for future. But I, oh, there is right there. OMG. It's gonna say, I can't see, but again, all the glares are in my eyes too, guys. So this is good, your plaids basically is what we have all on here. Okay, next one, we have a box. Ooh, I like the boxes. Oh, oh, that's not that crazy exciting, but I definitely wanted to give it a go. I seen them all over and I was like, oh, let me try these. What's the hype? Oh, that feels nice though. So it has rubber bristles, which I thought was just a little bit, a little bit rougher, but it doesn't feel rough to the touch whatsoever. Cool. I thought that came off and then you can store it. That's okay. I really like that you can store it. Actually, I didn't know that it just looked like it could come off. Well, that's not the easiest thing to... Maybe it's not meant to be stored. I don't think it's meant to be stored though. You probably could. I feel like it wants to say yeah. But it's a nice texture, so just to get in there. I like it. Obviously I need to like clean it and disinfect it before I use it. I've clearly been touching a lot of packages, but it's it will be a good brush for in my room, in my nail studio. Okay, so these are just these little clips. I'm not going to lie to you guys and say, oh, these are like amazing. I used to like not like these. And then I used them in a kit that I tried, the cheapest kit I could find on Amazon. If you guys are interested, that video is up. Go check that out. And they work so well. They actually work very well to be able to flip your nail clean out the underneath of it so I really wanted to actually have them so when I am doing press-ons I can put that on and especially these the thick glues they annoy my life they're so thick but you can't really like it's hard to hold your nail and do it to get it out so these will work really really well these little clips so I did go ahead and grab five of them I had some and you think I can find them I can't find them it's something that I used to use before I had my channel but or I had sorry I bought them before I had my channel but I never used them so they're somewhere and by golly I don't know where they are okay so I was saying to you guys I got the M share system now do you have to use the same brand systems no you don't really have to they work together for a reason don't get me wrong, they will always work best together when you use the same brands because their formulas work together. So when you're not using the same brands, you can have curing issues, you can have lifting, you can have certain things. So usually when you're mixing brands, depending on how you're laying or what you're doing, sometimes it's best to wipe off your inhibition layer. But that's not here or there, that's for a whole other video. If you want to know more about how mixing brands and that, um, 
and little tips let me know and I can always try to make a video of that but for now we're, we're back to the haul so this is the nail prep dehydrator so remember we have the base so I have the dehydrator again I want to test out different ones and then I have the primer because you want to dehydrate primer then base that would be the order that you would want to go in and then from there I grabbed one of the rubber bases which again I think this whole rubber base is basically like a builder it's, that's my opinion so it is a bit thicker it's not like a regular gel polish so you can layer this up and get a good little coverage I really like that that would have worked really nice for those nails so these will be good if you want even a flat press on to have a little bit more volume build it up a little could be super cute natural nails is where I think this would work best give it give it your little apex and just give it that little ump especially if you have flat nails this would might be like a really good way for you to kind of give your nails strength and let it help grow out naturally and still make it look cute so I wanted to try one of them I'm pretty sure I did order a couple of these now, again, guys, with Ali, unless you order it together, things don't show up together. And these were not, like, the cheapest. I think they're around five bucks, six bucks for me. So I think I, I ordered them, like, a few here and there. I didn't just go my usual craziness. i got to wheel it in sometimes. So we have some cute little glitters. I just love these. I thought they were so cute. I don't know why I waited so long to get these. But we have rose gold and pink. So we have some... What do we have here? Are you gonna, you're going to focus on everything else but what I want you to. So we have some butterflies, little flowers, a um, little more butterflies, hearts, flowers, and they look like little bunnies or teddies. They could be teddy bears too, but super cute. And then this is literally what you see. So this is dot glitter. And... So this is neon dot glitter, all different sizes. I thought, yes ma'am, you need to come in my collection. Now this is just a matte glitter, so they're flat, which I love because you're just getting the true essence of the color. So when I order glitters like these, when I'm using them, I'll always have my leftovers and I'll put in a separate pot and that'll eventually give me a mixed pot. But I always want you guys, when I can, to buy stuff to always have for like my giveaways so I wanted to get a mixed one so that way I can put in the giveaway because I thought like how much fun would that be right I would want that so I definitely when I can you know I would try to throw little things in so when I do do giveaways I have some fun neat stuff for you guys so I'm gonna put that over in the giveaway pile again super cute super fun love that Oh no, I took my address off. Did I not open that? Ooh. I don't know what it is either then. Okay, there's a hair on it though. Full disclaimer, that's a possible like there's a possibility that that is my hair. Ow. All that for Mr. Winnie the Pooh. I love him. Aww. and they gave me a little gift how sweet now usually if a sticker is by its little lonesome self that means it probably was not the cheapest sticker it probably was around like three four bucks or something like that and to me that's pretty expensive for a thing of stickers yeah so usually I will just order what I want and not like a whole bunch so that probably was the case in this for the scenario in this case so I got doubles and I always get doubles I feel like it just makes sense um, sometimes it can bite you in the butt because the double may not even match the color can be off on them but in this case we have the cutest little Winnie the Pooh and when I was a child Winnie the Pooh was like my character in my bedroom so absolutely love him little piglet so I, I definitely got to do a set like, bring me back to my youth when I was a little one. I had the little Winnie the Pooh curtains and the sheets. I was just, like, the coolest thing, I thought. Don't get me wrong. I was, like, eight or nine. Probably younger, even. Wow. 
So this company, they sent me a little free washi. I usually just keep them and put them in my giveaways because I have a whole whack of washies. So this is what I wanted to do. So this company, these are all glass. And this is actually what I have on my nail right now. I got into them. Um, but I thought they just worked perfect with that design. So I got different shapes. Now these are all just different shapes. We have little flowers, diamond. Ooh, that one's like out of the bag. Get in there. So these ones are little diamonds, um, triangles, or not triangles, rectangles. Um, yeah, so they're just literally all different little shapes. But like I said, the quality is pretty good so far. I took a risk by ordering a few, but I don't know, the re the, like all the reviews look good, everything looks good, and I love that they're glass. So I got all these, and what I want to do is create a little bling box, and I ordered this bling box from Ali as well, and it did open it proper, because I wanted to make sure it wasn't broken or anything, and it's not. So this is what I'm going to create a, a mixed shape box, and then this will all live in that, if that makes sense. That was a whole moment for my brain. Couple more guys, and then I'll let you go. Literally three. Okay, so this is a Nicole diary plate. Love how it comes packaged. Oh, not loving that it doesn't have a back. Now I gotta figure out where to get the big backs. Nicole diary L38. And it's just a floral plate. Again, guys, you know how it is when we show you plates. You're going to get glares. Okay, and this is PYJ026. I feel like I have something similar to this, but I love that you get all the different sizes. So that's really cool. I struggle with... Well, not the French. I don't think it's the French. It's like a extended um, nail bed. I need to work on. This was not that good. Oh, we have one little thing, and I don't know what that is. These were so pretty. These came kind of fast. All this stuff came very fast. Look at these. Don't do it. I need you to focus. Do you see how pretty they are? I'll take, I don't, I'm not going to take them all out because I feel it's going to be crazy. But all of these, they are different. And they have almost a marble on the inside. Like, it looks like a piece of stone. They do have a slight curvature of the back, so they will fit the nail well. I never get my nail tacky, which is bad. And they're pretty, like, they're not tiny, tiny, but they're a decent enough size that, like, stop it. What do you want to focus? Stop it. It doesn't know, you know what, there's just too much stuff in the background. And that's the sad truth. My desk is too full of stuff. Okay, so that'll help a little bit. There we go. So that same, kind of the same color. We have an just more of an oval shape. And then look at that like bluey pink. Isn't that just gorgeous? And they're all kind of like a little different. But it has like a bluey pinky purple. And then this one's a little bit more pink. But like, like I said, they have like a stone. Like a rock. More of a rock or like. So you're going to get multiple colors. And look at the white with the little pink shifts. OMG. So I really just went, I got different shapes. And then I did want to get a few different colors. I just thought these were gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous. And I feel like I'm gonna, I did not get a little tin out, 
pot. So I'm just going to set that in there so that way I don't lose them. There's way too much stuff all over my desk. Last but not least, guys. Whew, and then we're done. Let you guys go do whatever you're doing the rest of your day or evening. So we have some more plates. This is Z-Droy Plus 067. And this plate is... Well, it's just a hodgepodge of everything. OMG, do I have that plate, though? I feel like I've seen this fly before. I don't know if I have that, but look at that unicorn, though. That is super cool. Oh, it's so hard to see, guys. Okay. This one's kind of neat. It has some different wording. So, the, with, and to the beach. So that's kind of cool. It's a Z-Droid Plus 063. Super cool. And then we have, oh, a feather plate. This is gorgeous. So this is a Z-Droid Plus 031. Like, look at all the peacock feather, like, OMG, so pretty. This is beautiful. Look at that peacock. Like, that's pretty big. But you could put, like, the body of it on the nail and then let the tail flow out on the next nail. That would be, like, gorgeous. So pretty. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Everything we have here is from Ali. Ooh, we got some good stuff in. I hope you guys enjoy all of it, and thank you guys so, so much. Please, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and share it with a friend. And leave a comment and let me know. What was your favorite thing today? I don't know. It's hard for me. I'm really loving these, though. I think these are just the most... Like, they're just unique. So I feel like these, these stones were probably my favorite. I'd have to say were my favorite. Just because they're so... They're just so different. And I really like that. It's nice to find different things. And that's what I do guys I want to find different things for you guys to go find <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one bye